Welcome to Holtz Growers. Uh, we are getting ready to plant some more blueberry bushes here. We have five of them. They're not too bad. Um, blueberry, blue ray, as you can see, they're uh, the straight root dormant ones. Definitely want to soak them in some water right there, uh, like that. Um, bring them out of dormancy, that's a good idea. It also gets all of the uh, dirt and mulch that was protecting it in the package off so you're just planting the bare root in new topsoil um, we've already dug our holes here and we have them spaced two and a half feet apart as you can see right there for our third row uh, in case you're wondering what this line is right there that's called a furrow line it's for water rain uh, water runoff to slow it down and uh, soak into the wood, uh, the ground more. Um, we're gonna get these unpackaged here, and I'll show you here what they look like. So, toss the package away. You want to take all this paper off, and then you're gonna be left with this um, interesting little thing here. Uh, this. You can see right there, that's one of the stems coming through. You definitely want to take care and not break those off. So if it crumbles off, that's fine. Uh, that's what the water's for, is to loosen that up. And you're just, I'm using an old ice cream bucket here. You can use pretty much anything to hold water in. You don't want to submerge the entire thing in the water, or you can run the risk of root rot. But you do want to soak it in the water so it... Uh, gets it out of dormancy. Like I said, we have five of them sitting here. Um, still need to go on the ground. Uh, planted some over there uh, to give us a little bit of cross-pollination. We'll get this one out. And then I will show you the dirt that we're going to be filling those holes in because this dirt with all the grass and weeds we're not going to be keeping. It's going to go in our compost bin and uh, get rid of that. So. As you can see with this one here, there's a stem sitting right there. I want to be careful of that. Okay, so we're going to put these in here so they can soak. Like so. And uh, that's going to go in our compost bin eventually. Um, in this video, to keep it relatively short, we're going to walk over here to our garden beds. Because we're adding to our garden beds uh, a lot of mulch and... Um, compost over the winter so these beds will be good right now I've got some leftover OSB pieces keeping it covered so uh, weeds don't grow in it we're gonna try planting some cover crop in it uh, next week um, see how that fares so but this is the dirt we're going to be using for those blueberries right here as you can see we already do have some weeds growing we don't want that Okay, but look at that. That is good stuff right there. Um, what we did last winter is we put shredded paper and a leaves as a compost over it. Um, we did have some crops this year in it. See right there, some of that paper not decomposed yet. But overall, it decomposed really well. Um, like I said, we did have some wheat some crops in it that's where these roots are coming from and we have some weeds but overall it broke up real nice look at that that's what you want to see nice black rich organic dirt um, you can grow almost anything you want in this type of soil so um, stay tuned um, we'll be uploading more videos uh, as time progresses so um, May God richly bless you and enjoy your day.